Well, thank you for joining me today on the land of the blind. Today we're interviewing Jeff Young. He is the LinkedIn guru. So please join me in welcoming Jeff Young. Namaste. How you doing? It's nice I'm to see wonderful. you again, Brian. It's thank you. Nice seeing you, Jeff. Thank you for joining us. So I, I have a few questions, about 10, 11 questions that we're going to go through and we're going to talk about. It's all about understanding what your vision is in, in general, but we also talk about blind spots along the way. So okay. just so you know, that's kind of where we're going. Okay. So tell me, Jeff, what would you say is the biggest factor in your success? Wow. Well, success obviously is defined differently for different people. Mm -hmm. um, for me, uh, I suppose the biggest factor in my success would have to be that I've got a huge network. Uh, I think that you are, uh, to me, uh, a part of being a success is that you are the sum of all of the parts of the people that you know, and so and the people that you associate with. So that to me is is uh, one of the biggest factors is having a very diverse, uh, but at the same time like-minded network that is extremely supportive. Hmm. So in that regard, I mean, it sounds like this is one of your key tactics, um, but it, what is the t key tactic that you keep coming back to or your practice that you, you keep coming back to? It, it just works no matter where you are and what job you're in, doing whatever you're doing. I think one of the things that has made the most difference to me over time is that everybody knows networking is important, but the philosophy of network, networking for me became something that was um, I saw in a presentation that a gentleman did to a, a job search group once and he took the word network n-e-t-w-r-k and he gave a meaning to each of those letters mm -hmm. and I won't go through them all but it starts with n and the n in networking stands for never stop giving I mean, there are guys who have written books about this, Bob Berg and The Go-Giver and you know, all, all those kind of things. They're, they're great. And the point is that that philosophy is if you give enough, you are going to get enough. It's, it's going to come back to you every single time. So that's, that for me is, is just a part of the process. And I don't care whether you're in sales and you're doing this for a living. I don't, I don't, I'm not even this for, in this for a living. I, this is a, what I do as far as being the LinkedIn guru and teaching LinkedIn is an avocation, not a vocation. Okay, so from that perspective, I, I just do it because it's fun and I get so much out of it. And some of that ends up being monetary because sometimes somebody buys me a cup of coffee or something along those lines. But it's not. It's, but it's not about the money. Okay, it's it's a yeah. it's about it's it's about giving enough to get back what you are interested in getting back. Because if, if you give enough, people will end up asking you, "How can I help you?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. So what, 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 what brings you clarity every day? What, what, what brings me clarity? Yeah. Um, I think um, having found my why of being a teacher, okay, which is why, by the way, the boy in blue is behind me. Okay? Uh, yeah. Because a lot of times I introduce myself by saying, hi, I'm a teacher what's your superpower okay so <laughs> you know from that standpoint that, that having that has really clarified what i really want to do and and how i do it uh it, it it is it is my reason for getting up every single day is to go out and do something that teaches people you're you're my third zoom call of the day by the way okay and so 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 but one of those zoom calls from from uh 9 30 to uh, uh, 11 30 this morning was a LinkedIn seminar. And of course, it's all done by Zoom now, okay? As a teacher, I'd much rather be standing up in front of somebody, you know, face to face, but we can't do that right now. So I pivoted, there's that word again, I pivoted, okay? And, and just like everybody else, and now I'm doing nothing but Zoom uh, instruction. But that's why I'm here, it, 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 is, it is my why. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, and I realize you're, you're, uh, you're retired. You don't, you don't do this for a living, but, uh, you obviously have been very successful in your life. 
what's the next level of success look like? Ooh, the next level of success for me? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's a tough one, really. Um, I don't have any strategic goals necessarily as a point to get to. Um, I think the next level of success for me would be to help enough people that it kind of gets its own momentum. And, you know, I mean, if, if, um, if, if I, could, not that I want to establish a, the LinkedIn Google franchise or something along those lines, that's not, it's not about that for me, but, but to have it be something that the next level of success to some degree would be, uh, if I stop doing this tomorrow, I'd still, I had done enough of it for it to be a legacy and it would continue on. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's good. So you have a lot of stuff going on, even though you are retired. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I'm wondering, what do you do to recharge? I watch a lot of movies. Really? Uh, no, I, I seriously do. That's kind of my go-to. Uh, I, I am a, a huge movie buff. Uh, if you ever are out there on LinkedIn and you see some of the quotes that I use and some of the, the graphics I use, it's kind of about movies. Uh, you know, uh, I, 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 I swore I'd do this one day. Being a teacher and, and being able to present in front of a crowd I swore one day that I would actually do a 10 minute presentation. Hey, this would be my Ted talk. If I could do a Ted talk like you did. Okay. Yeah. Here'd be my Ted talk. I do my entire Ted talk in movie quotes. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun to put together. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and what, what particular kinds of movies? What kinds? Oh, oh all, yeah. all kinds of movies there. There, there are very few movies that I don't really like. Uh, um, uh, you know, the, the I'm I'm a big I, I will say that the, my biggest I'm a big sci-fi fan. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a huge uh, uh, I, huge. It, it could be old, it can be new. Okay, uh, you know what the funny thing was? It, we've been watching a lot more movies right now, and you know, in in after COVID. Uh, COVID yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, COVID time, and so. The funny thing was, we watched uh, a movie that I haven't watched probably in years, uh, a week or so ago. We watched The Wizard of Oz again. Huh. And I'm telling you, it hasn't lost a thing since huh. 1939. It's still a cool movie. I, wow. I just love the, the interactions. And, and, and I've watched it so many times that even though I hadn't seen it for years, I was quoting it as it went along, you know, the, the, those kind of things, right? So I'm a big sci-fi fan. I, I love those kind of things. Um, Genres wise, thrillers, action movies, I love those as well. Uh, you know, it, 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 sometimes it's, it's not, it, it's about any aspect of, of the movies. I, I'm, I'm kind of a student of movies as well. I could be just as, I could be just as happy watching a documentary of Amer the American Film Institute, AFI's 100 top films, as I would be watching any film, any individual film. So it's all good. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I find so much uh, uh, art imitates life, and th that's kind of where I get a lot of that. It gives yeah. me a lot of material for what I from when I teach too. Hmm. Well, okay. Here's one. The other day, I was teaching somebody something, and they said, "What should I do in terms of making sure I'm finding my correct audience?" Okay. And I asked the person. I said, "Have you ever seen the movie, The Karate Kid?" And they said, yeah, I have. And I said, well, then you must have focused Daniel Sark. <laughs> I'm just illustrating that that's exactly what you need to do. And by doing something like that, I, I think as a teacher, if I, if I give it that little extra hook, they'll mm -hmm. probably remember it, right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's good. <laughs> I love it. Uh there's obviously some instances where you have, um, and we all have blind spots. We all have blindness in our lives, but um, who holds up the mirror for you and shows you your blind spots? Well, it's multiple people. Um, for the most part, I mean, obviously, if I'm, if I'm out here online, I expect my network to keep me honest. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing something that's not in character, I expect people to call me on it. Okay. So that, that's first of all, but do they, huh? Do, do any of them call you on it? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Right. They, they will say, well, that wasn't really like you, was it? You know, and I don't go on. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. That probably, you know, because, because I have a persona out there and each of us, you know, kind of has a brand. And if I'm off brand, I'd like somebody to tell me I'm off brand. But mm. for, for, for overall, my, you know, my, my sync point, the person who keeps me the most honest is my better half of 43 years. Mm. Um, she is my rock. She is, uh, she's an angel. Uh, yeah, I know everybody says that. Okay. But look, if somebody puts up with me for 43 years, she deserves to be sainted. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, and she is the, the one thing that has been constant for me for 43 solid years. So um, that's who, that's who keeps, that's who's my center. You got to give her that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> hmm. More than that. Um, so what, what, and obviously you, you, you have a specific thing that you are geared towards, but what keeps you steadfast for that? Pretty much the, the fun. Yeah. Um, you know, if it wasn't fun, I would not be doing it. And it, part of that fun to define what the fun really means to me, it's the interactions with folks like you. Um, here's the cool part. I mean, I'm, I'm using a, a social media tool. Okay. There's lots of them out there. You know, I don't know diddly about WhatsApp, so don't ask me. Okay. I don't know much about Facebook. Don't go there. Okay. But I know tons about LinkedIn because I've started to use LinkedIn as my tool to talk to the world. And that's the fun for me. I literally, it's, it, it's, it's not just a social media tool. It's a learning tool. It's a networking tool. It's a sales tool, okay? It's mm -hmm. a marketing tool. It's a branding tool. It's all these things wrapped up there into one little package. And, and, and you know, people are going to go, wow, you're nuts about LinkedIn, aren't you? And I'm going, yeah, I guess I am. Because I get so much out of it. There's mm -hmm. not a day that goes by that I don't learn something from somebody that I'm connected to or not connected to out there on LinkedIn. And I can interact with literally any one of the 675 to 700 million of my closest friends out there on LinkedIn. It, hmm. So that's the fun that it, it brings me. Wow. That's what keeps you going. So before you get going in, in the morning, what's your uh, routine? Uh, you mean before I get, get started at all? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm an early morning person. I'm a morning person. So like I'm four or five. Six? I'm not that much of a morning person. Oh, no. I mean, after all, I am retired. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I, but morning person, I'm, I'm up before most other folks, uh, I guess. I mean, I get up around 5.30 or 6. Okay. Yeah. Um, I get up. I pretty much uh, do the take a shower routine, um, you know, get, get dressed. I actually, maybe one of the reasons that my better half stayed with me for 43 years is that I bring her coffee in bed every morning. <laughs> Yeah. So that's a part of my routine as well. So, know. And, you know, and we, and we have a chat and then, and then I'll grab some coffee and my routine is pretty much, you know, I, I don't have to, I don't have to dress up. I, I'm pretty much casual. I can wear, I could be wearing shorts. I could be wearing nothing, uh, but I'm, I, I am actually wearing jeans today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. The, the zoom problem, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, and, and so, um, and then I actually hit the, 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 the computer because my life is on this computer, you know, from the standpoint of social media and I'm the LinkedIn guru. So I spend time on LinkedIn, uh, you know, then I'll also go out, you know, maybe out to have breakfast. Uh, I'll come back, you know, have that second cup of coffee when I get back, maybe hit it again for a little while. I get to, you're my third zoom call of the day. Like I said, so some days, you know, I, on a normal day, I'll do at least one or two zoom calls. And those would, can be seminars. Like there was one seminar this morning. But then at one o'clock this afternoon, I was talking with a lady because it was 6 p.m. her time in the United Kingdom. And it's a lady that I've known for a little while now. And this is the second or third time that we've Zoomed and we were just doing a Zoom call to catch up. Um, and, and so, you know, my day is spent pretty much online. I, I did, you know, I, I obviously take time out for meals and that, and that kind of stuff. But I enjoy doing that. I, but I don't, I do it in bite-sized chunks. 
um, I'm an extrovert, so I know that myself, I'm going to need to interact with somebody and not just a computer somebody. Okay. So I, so I end up doing that a lot of times as well during the day. And then usually I'm, I'm, I'm usually done by about four or five and about four or five, you know, maybe my better half and I will have something to eat or uh, uh, it, maybe uh, share a cocktail or something along those lines. And then maybe share some movies later on or something along those lines. So, so that's, that's, it, it's, it's not exciting. I mean, but it's good enough, you know, it, it's good enough to keep me interested in doing fun city stuff because there's all kinds of different things to do during the day. No, that's so, good. Well, COVID has changed all that too. All of what I described there is kind of home based, right? right? You know, on a normal right. basis, I'd be out and about. You and I, you know, I'd be at a Starbucks. I mean, I'd be I'm you know, the same way. Day. I'm the yeah. same way. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be out and about, meeting up with other people and things like that. And and there's so many things that have been canceled this year that I'm not going to get to do uh, mm -hmm. because of COVID as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Because we take vacations, you know, together as well. So. Hmm. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate, but uh, you still have things like that you can do, like uh, watching your movies or reading. A, a, are you a reader? Uh, occasionally, but usually if I'm reading, it's actually an audio book. Um, no. so, so I'm doing it that way instead of actually physically reading. Um, my better half is a huge reader. She's got her iPad in her hand practically all day long and, and, and reads that way. Um, uh, I, I, I did read one physical book and that was the book that I mentioned to you earlier, um, mm -hmm. by a gentleman that I know in the United Kingdom. Uh, and, and that was the last physical book that I read. Hmm. And again, that name of that book was content DNA content DNA. Yeah. yeah. By the, by the, by Lord John Esperian, <laughs> the relentlessly helpful technical copywriter. See, I've got his brand down just as much as he does. <laughs> oh, he's a copywriter. Oh, yeah. Yep. The content. Content DNA. DNA. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Well, those are the main um, questions that I have. I do have another one uh, that I'd like to ask you. Actually, two more. Uh, one is and you can think about this and answer me offline, but who do you think that, who do you think would be appropriate for me to ask? Is there somebody in your sphere, your, your, uh, your uh, camp, uh, your connections that you think I should ask these questions to as well and kind of get their feel. So think about that. Couple you have an idea already. But yeah, kind that, of. I'd say John. The, the guy yeah. I just mentioned, John Esperian, yeah. okay, uh, because I think he'd be a, an excellent candidate to, to go through this process because I, I think he's found his vision as well, and it's taken him a while to build his brand, but he's done that since probably 2017 uh, on LinkedIn. And then a lady who does marketing, I'll, I'll point you to her as well. She's a lady who's based in Detroit, mm -hmm. uh, and she owns a company called Meller Marketing, and her name is Brenda Meller. Hmm. Miller? M-E-E. M-E-L-L-E-R. Ah, okay. Yeah, not Miller. Meller. Miller. Okay. Yeah, tell them I sent you. I, 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 again, I, I, they're the kind of folks, actually, Brenda is a lady who actually does that LinkedIn Live stuff that I talked to you about previously. Um, and she's doing probably uh, three or four LinkedIn Lives a week. So she may reciprocate and you may be on hers as well. You know, hey. from that standpoint, she, she might ask you on first before you get her to, to come on yours. Oh, that would be great. Speaking of reciprocating, what can I do for you? Do me the favor and the honor of occasionally looking for my posts and interacting with them if there's anything that you want to say about them, okay? Um, that's kind of how I've built the following on LinkedIn is just having people interact with me and 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 you know give me feedback as well that's kind of what it's all about because if i'm not talking about something that you're interested in hearing well let me know that as well because then you never know maybe the next monday tip linkedin guru tip of the week will be about what you were actually interested in hearing mm -hmm. that's a great idea it sounds like a plan <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. 
My thank pleasure. you. Thank you for joining us here on the land of the blind. <laughs> Namaste, my friend.